I'm Alistair Hart, I'm the Chair of Orthopaedic Surgery at UCL. I run a research team of 10 people that looks at performance of hip and knee implants in patients. We are about to revise a metal on metal hip replacement. This lady can't walk properly because she has severe pain in her right hip. We know from MRI scans that we've done that the muscles are actually in good condition. And this is a technique that we have pioneered at the Royal National Orthopaedic Hospital. The opportunity to come here is a fantastic opportunity for any of us, and specifically for me as well with my interest in lower limb arthroplastic surgery. I get the uh, chance to work with renowned clinicians, people who actually are the decision makers in the way that the specialty evolves. The other thing that I have found very interesting here is the variety of different procedures that one can get involved with, but also the unique cases that take place here with very complex uh, uh, patients. Most of my research obviously is tissue engineering based, so what we try and do is try and build 3D tissues. And what we're interested in is trying to give cells a more physiological environment so that when they grow, they act the way they would act in your body. I'm really interested in the interplay of the physics and the biology in um, decompression sickness, which is the bend. So if you scuba dive and if you come up too quickly from a scuba dive, you get what's called the bends, and that's actually caused by bubbles forming within your body. So what I'm trying to do is I do a bit of mathematical modelling of those bubbles, and then I use some kind of biological constructs that we make here. They kind of look a little bit like jelly, and I look at bubble formation in those, and we try and match up the computational modelling and mathematics to what's actually happening in real life and to how cells behave around those bubbles. I think what's really interesting about UCL is the a massive amount of different science that you can be exposed to here. The mathematical, the physics, there's the biology, and even within that there's just so many different things. There's always events, there's always things happening, there's always ways to broaden kind of your horizons within science. I'm trying to deliver personalised cancer medicine. That means giving the best drug for each individual patient with cancer. So what we want to do is to understand how cancer cells and the cells that surround a tumour behave in their native 3D environment and this can actually give us quite a lot of information, for example, why certain drugs work or more importantly why certain drugs don't work. And this is really quite important because it really can give us quite deep insights into how these cells that surround a tumour, for example, can promote cancer invasion uh, or inhibit cancer invasion. This department actually has 40 NHS staff, 40 UCL staff, 40 PhD students, 100 MSc students. And it's all about the cauldron of knowledge and the cauldron of ideas that are generated by that. I think it's quite important to be able to have that connection of clinicians and engineers and biologists because I really do think that that is quite important, especially when um, you're one of the leaders in, in, in medical research in the, in the country. I'm a clinician who does research uh, at the same time as practicing as a consultant urologist. My particular interest is in prostate cancer research, so we're trying to improve the diagnosis and treatment of men who have prostate cancer. We are looking at new technologies like ultrasound, heating treatments, cryotherapy, freezing treatments, as well as injectable toxins that we can inject into the prostate in order to kill the cancer cells. So students would be part of the team that leads this rollout process. Currently, for example, Steph, who is one of our clinical research fellows, is working on a multi-center trial called INDEX, and she basically runs that trial. The main technology that we have employed within this trial is the uh, HIFU, which is the high intensity focused ultrasound, and it is currently used to treat localized prostate cancer in a minimally invasive way. The benefit of the high intensity focused ultrasound is that by preserving tissue, the complication rates associated with treatment to the prostate are decreased, so the quality of life of patients um, is better. This research will impact heavily on my future practice as a clinician. I hope to eventually get into specialty training in urology um, and this research will definitely impact on my practice in the future. Students come to UCL, they will not only get training in research methods as well as training in clinical methods if they are a doctor, but will also be allowed to grow as a person to ask those difficult questions that other universities may suppress. 
UCL is such a diverse, broad spectrum, research focused university that you probably won't get that kind of spectrum anywhere else, certainly within London, and even question whether you get it within the UK.